get that bird out. I'm not sure if that's a green heron or what it is. I usually can pick out a green heron right away. That's something different. I don't know. I have to look that up. I'm not sure if that's a green heron or something else. It's cool looking whatever it is. <laughs> Wish this thing had a zoom lens. I want to zoom in on it. Turn the video back on. I think I know. I think it might be American bittern. I haven't seen one of these in years. I used to see them in the real thick marshes. I seen one many years ago. But it's been a long time I've seen one, and I think this is called an American bittern. I'll have to look it up. Let's see if I can zoom in on this thing again. This thing is cool looking. I'm most positive that's called an American bittern. They're very neat. They're very well camouflaged. I didn't even see him at first. He actually spooked me when he turned his head. If he wouldn't turn his head, I would have never seen him. But I think that's what it is. Look how cool he is. Wow, look at that. There's a nice close-up. There we go. That's a cool-looking bird. Look how well camouflaged he is. Looks like he got red eyes. Most positive. I gotta look it up, but most positive that's American bittern. I haven't seen one of these in years. But see where they are? They always go always go back in like the real thick marshes. That's why they're so hard to see and find a lot of times. Wow, that bird is so cool looking. Can't believe he's not moving. Yeah, that's not a green heron. I almost pop that's American bittern. First time I ever seen one here. I'm on Blue Marsh in Burst County, Pennsylvania. First time I ever seen one of these at Blue Marsh. I seen one at Lake Onalani many years ago. All right, I want to take it off before I spook him. I don't want to spook him out of there. It's so rare to see one of these birds. Mm -hmm.